I hope you guys can see this. You see how that's uh, warped down like that? And then it comes up like that. I know it's really hard to tell, but what's happening is the... Uh, I've actually bent the prop shaft. This thing took about a 60-foot fall or so today with a GoPro on it, so I thought we'd do a video on how to repair such a thing as this. All right, well, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do, and uh, I don't have my tripod here, and I'm too lazy to go get it, but i got to peel off this little thing right here. So what I'm going to do is probably is just put you down for a second, and uh, I'll get back to you in one second. Okay, so we're going to continue with this little prop shaft repair on this uh, little parrot AR. So what I've done there is I uh, have removed the circ clip at the top. I'm just going to get that out of the way here. And uh, when I do stuff like this, I usually work off like something white. See? Now you can see it. On this bench full of dirt and grime from the cars and planes and everything else, you're not going to see anything. So let's hope this camera here will cooperate with me and try to give me some form of focus. Okay, so we've removed the circ clip at the top. Propeller pops off like nothing. Gear. Um, gear doesn't look too bad. I think we've, uh, we're going to be able to save that. I have a habit of stripping gears on the helicopters, but this one looks okay. I know it's freaking, I'm working off my phone here and it kind of bites. But uh, no macro ability at all whatsoever. You know, and I'm really happy with HTC products and this thing. So, anyway, so there's the gear, and uh, there's the shaft. So now to get the shaft out, all I'm going to do is give it a little press down. Ooh. Okay, so the shaft is definitely bent. It's actually bent so badly, but I can't retrieve it from... Okay, well, that's going to change plans. So now the shaft is bent so badly that we can't pop it out. So that's it. Just punch the shaft out from the top and the bottom. If it's bent worse than this, you might actually have to pull it. Now, uh, I guess it's not really going to take a rocket scientist to figure out that that thing is really bent. But that's the only damage the whole bird actually suffered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm, uh, I guess you should replace this. I'm a bit of a cheap ass, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten that out and insert it back in. So here we're going to cut again, and I'm going to actually just take that to a pair of pliers and uh, straighten it out. Okay, so I've done a pretty good job. I got this thing pretty straight. It's uh, I'm sure if we were to take some kind of run out to it, it there's going to be some run out, but you know, for the price of this model, I'm not really worried about it. So, shot from the straight. Um, you know what? I always lubricate everything. I'm just going to put a little lubrication on that. This is just a dry, well, it will be dry in a minute. Silicone lube. So you don't attract dust. Poke it back in from the bottom. Make sure it spins straight. Looks good. Check the gear to make sure there's no problems with the gear. Which I did while I was off camera. Oh wait, we've got a little spot here. So just to make sure we got all this goo out of the gear here. You don't want to strip one of these teeth off because then you have to replace it, of course. Done. Put that back on with the little tet sticking up. Uh, I said little tets. Okay. That's got a little notch in it there. See that? That's just got to fit in that little notch there, which obviously you will figure out because this one goes on one way correctly. Okay, put that up through there. Our little teeny tiny C clip on there. And a pair of pliers just to put that back on again. We'll try to do this with a camera, but I really doubt we can. Oh yeah, no way. I can do that. Okay, so I just snapped that little snap back on there, and uh, that's it. Propeller now turns properly again. 
the gear is no longer rising on the drive gear, whereas before it would rise and fall because obviously it was bent. And all in all, for a 60-foot fall, very little damage. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.